Double honor to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking his word and sincerity in, in truth. According to the law, uh, the male child is to get circumcised on the eighth day. Uh, and this is a requirement uh, in, in the nation of Israel. Uh, not only a physical circumcision is required, but a mental circumcision is, is required to serve uh, the Heavenly Father, which um, you have a, a lot of our people, their minds or their lives in the, in the, in the Hebrew um, are uncircumcised, you know. So, so let's get this uh, definition of what circumcision means. This is circumcision, the act of uh, practicing or circumcising a young boy or man in church you see feasts of the circumcision of the of Masiat going off. Uh, the practice or act of circumcising a girl or young woman, female circumcision. Now let's look into uh, the root definition of, a circ uh, uh, of a circumcision, which is circumcised. And it comes from the, the, um, uh, from the old English, actually old uh, French, since... Sinconcier, or from from Latin, uh, miss which means to cut around from the verb, uh, sidere from uh, from circum around about, uh, to cut. That's right. And um, uh, the problem with our people is that their hearts, their mind, their minds are uncircumcised. You know, and, and and what do we mean by that? Their, their, their minds are uncircumcised. With our their, their their minds are cut off, if you will, from the flesh, from the from the from the rudiments of the world. Our people haven't been trans uh, transformed by the renewing of the mind. You see, and that was a problem that uh, we face now. This it's a problem that we face now, and it's a problem that um, our, our our forefathers faced uh, in the scriptures, man. Uh, people have a, a very dark and, and, and filthy mindset, man. You know, just like a, uh, you know, uh, a man's area that hasn't been circumcised and hasn't been clean. It gets very, very uh, dirty and filthy, man. And that's uh, be a, a perfect uh, example or a parable of our people, man. And they're and, and they're uh, the conscious. You see, it has uh, our people uh, mentally speaking. You know. Refuse to serve the Heavenly Father, and for that, a lot of our people are going to be destroyed. So let's get uh, the first uh, precept in Romans. Now this is Romans uh, twenty-three, uh, two and twenty-three. Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking of the law, dishonors thy power. And you see that with our with these tall only cats, you know they dishonor. You know what I'm saying. Um, the name, the true name of Yahweh by, of, of the Lord, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by them uh, breaking and offending of the law. You know, the majority of those guys, man, when you go to their pages, you know, the pages are, are null and void with their edification. And the majority of the time, they're, they're really blaspheming the name of Yahweh Shai and also uh, just really uh, not bringing out anything that's edifying but combating uh, the truth. You see, so that. Uh, the name of uh, the true power, you know, which these uh, Israelites profess to have, man, you know, in the sight of, Jim, uh, 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 of the Gentiles, is is uh, is is uh, blaspheme, man, because our people don't understand the importance of changing themselves, you know, what I'm saying inwardly before outwardly. You see, verse twenty uh, twenty five. Uh, Verse 24, for the name of the uh, of, of the Most High is blaspheming among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law, but if thou be a break of the law, then circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? That's right. So you had a, a, a man that believes in Yahweh Shah. And also keep the laws that he can keep, you know, his that that is considered righteousness and considered circumcision, man. You know, why is that? Because he's cutting off the flesh. Now is he literally cutting off that 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 part, the 
you know what I'm saying, uh, of the, uh, the penis that's supposed to be cut off? No. But that means, inwardly speaking, he has circumcised his, his, his mind. You see? Verse 27. And, and shall not uncircumcision, which is by, by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter and transgression, and so like in, in, in circumcision, doth transgress the law? For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outwardly in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of man, but of the Most High. That's right. So a man is, is a, a, a circumc is circumcised, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit, man, you know, uh, waking up and, and, and understanding who you are. According to the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, growing your beard out, you know what I'm saying, ultimately having faith in Yahweh Shai, you see, and then that's going to influence you to, to follow these other laws, man. You know, if you're a man that can't, that's not uh, circumcised, well, you're, you're going you're gonna to be considered righteous by the acts that you do do, you do commit, you know what I'm saying, according to the law, by faith, you see. The underlying thing is we have to have faith in Yahweh Shai, he's our, he's our shield. You know, he's our shield from uh, uh from from wickedness. You know, and the attack of the uh, of of Satan, man. You see, only by faith do we understand that we are Israelites, and not by works. You know, this thing is a grace. Uh, this thing is grace. This thing was given unto us. You see, but you got a lot of people out there that don't understand that they want to emphasize the law and they want to, you know, uh, undermine. The uh, the true power, you know, or the severity of Yahweh Shai, you see. You know, you know, just expounding on that statement, you know, you have two thirds of our people, you know, they don't know the, the will of Heavenly Father at all, man. They're not keep, keeping any uh, commandments and they're just straight Gentiles, man. You see, they need to serve, you know. Two thirds of our people have to be destroyed, but you're gonna have some of them that's gonna repent, and in order for them to repent, again they're gonna have to cut off some things in their mind. You know the things that they once did. You know, uh, celebrating Christmas. You know, going to church. Um, uh, celebrating Easter. You know what I'm saying? Eating abominable foods and things of that nature. You know, by cutting that off, that's how you circumcise your your heart or your or, or your spirit, you see, Jeremiah 4 and 4, if thou wilt return, O Israel, saith Yahweh, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thy abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not uh, not remove, and, and thou shalt swear, Yahweh liveth in truth, in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in, in him, and in in him and in him shall they glory. Uh, thus, for thus uh, saith Yahweh to the man of Judah and Jerusalem: Break up your fallow uh, ground, and sow not among thorns. That's right. So here you have. He says, Yeah, yeah. You know, if we were to turn back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, the Most High will establish us, man. And not only will He establish us, but He will set us above all nations. You see what I'm saying? But first, it requires what? Us repenting and turning back to the Heavenly Father, which we will know that the only elect, the only the elect are going to are going to do, and that's why the elect is so important, man. Because those are going to be the man that's going to cut off their flesh, you know, uh, cut off what they want to do in the world and serve the Heavenly Father, man. You see what I'm saying? And so those and and, and, and uh, sow those those uh, profitable seeds, man. You see, when you are uh, uh, of farming, a lot of times you have to break up uh, hard ground in order for you uh, to sow uh, good seeds, man. I forget which, um, which uh, tool that you would use, but we would use that back in the day to uh, to make the ground soft, man. You see, in, in order for us to, uh, you know, grow various uh, crops. And that's what we had to do. We had to break these... Uh, uh, the, you know, uh, you know, this, this the strong ground or the, the hard ground, you know what I'm saying, which 
that's a metaphor with the uh, uh, from a uh, turn away from our iniquities, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, basically serve the heavenly Father, man. You see, verse four: circumcise yourself to the to Yahweh, and take a, away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of, of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come from forth like fire, and burn. Uh, that now uh, that none can quench it because of the evils of your doings. That's right, man. So here, here you have Yahweh by Shimei Hashai giving our people warnings, you know, that he's going to uh, destroy them with a uh, fire. Now, during the, this was during the time of uh, the, the Babylons, but we know now that we're in Babylon the Great, and it's just, this still applies today, you know. We had to tell our people, man, to turn back and circumcise your heart, to turn to the Heavenly Father, cut off this madness that that, that our people, you know, engage in, and, or, or at least, you know, you know, what I'm saying the Heavenly Father come back and destroy them, man, with that fire, man. We know that fire is that thermonuclear destruction, you know. Not only that, but there's gonna be several other ways in which you could uh, uh, perish off this earth, man, you know. With that, with the sword, which is modern day, modern day gun, pestilence, famine, all this is coming in a big way. You know, saying to the earth, man, if you're not paying attention, you're gonna get caught out there, and two thirds of our people are gonna get caught out there. You see, declare ye in J uh, Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, blow ye the trumpet in the land, cry, gather together and say, assemble yourself, and let us go into the defense cities. And when you blow a trumpet, that that's in ancient times that was uh, signified a, a time of uh, distress. You see, or or a time in which you know the city was being uh, attacked, and that's what we're doing. We're we're out we're in, and we're blowing the trumpet to the nation of Israel, and let them know that bad times is coming here, man. But again, two thirds of our people aren't gonna pay attention and therefore two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed man verse 6 set up the standard towards zion retrite stay not for i will bring evil from the north in a great destruction the lion is come out from his thicket and the destroyer of the gentiles is on his way which we know you know uh historically speaking that was talking about the babylonians you know Spiritually speaking, that's talking about the uh, America. You see what I'm saying? They're going to come down. The time of Jacob, Jacob's trouble is nigh. Alluding to uh, Jeremiah, the, the 30th chapter, man. And and, and there's going to be sore, sore destruction that's going to take place on the planet Earth. You see? And this is going to greatly affect you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true uh, uh, people of the Most High. Yasha Allah, the prince of the power, man. You are Israelites. You see? Therefore, the Most High is going to hold you more accountable than all the other people, man, on the earth. You see? He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. For this gird up your sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of Yahweh is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass at that day, said Yahweh, that the heart of the kings shall perish, and the hearts of the, the princes and the princes' priests shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. That's right. So every, all the higher-ups, just like in the time of Babylon, you know, which they were, you know, the, the kings, starting with uh, King Zedekiah on down, he, he was literally brought into captivity, man. You see what I'm saying? This is going to happen to all of uh, uh, to the to the great ones of our people, man, all these celebrities and things of that nature, and all these false prophets that that you see on TV and all these billboards and things of that nature, man, they're gonna be astonished when the day of the Lord occurs. Why is that? Because they don't they, don't, they haven't followed, followed the heavenly Father. You know, they haven't cut off their flesh. You see, but they have made uh, pacts with this world. So the Most High is gonna do what? The Most High is gonna judge them, man. You see. Two thirds of our people, man, got a rude awakening because they refuse to cut out the flesh and turn to the Heavenly Father. They're not circumcised in, in their mind. Jeremiah 6 and 10. 
to whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the, the word of Yahweh is, is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. That's right. So here it is. You have Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, that's giving our people warning. But our people, not only are their hearts uncircumcised, but their ears is uncircumcised, man. They refuse to hear the truth. You know, our people believe everything that they see on TV and in uh, these movies, man. You see what I'm saying? But the true, the true knowledge of the Heavenly Father, our, our people throw away. Our people uh, 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 turn stiff neck when they see us out there on the highways and byways. Also, when they see our videos, man. You see, you see. Therefore, what is the most I can do? Therefore, I am full of the fury of Yahweh. I am weary with uh, within holding it. I will pour it out upon the children abroad, and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken. The age with with the, with him that is full of days, and their houses shall be turned unto uh, others, with uh with their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the of the land, saith Yahweh. So the Most High is going to stretch out His hand in indignation on our people, man. You see, because they refuse to listen, and, and, and not only listen but to turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. You see, so the Most High is going to allow atrocities to occur here. Not only here in America, but abroad, wherever, wherever Jake is, man, you see it going on in, in South uh, uh, America and, and also Central America. You see, also in that in in, uh, in the continent of Africa, man, our people are being destroyed left and right. But that that sword destruction is, is is soon to come here to uh Babylon the Great. You see. Jeremiah 5 and 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh? Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it could not pass it? And though the ways thereof toss themselves, yet cannot they not prevail? Though the they roar, yet can uh, can they not pass over it? So the Most High is asking our people, "You're not gonna be afraid of me." Look at look at the my my uh how great I am just just judging off of uh the 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 sea, man. How I have it set up to where it doesn't pass a certain point. You should fear a power that could do that, but our people. You know, as it's going to say in the next verse, it has a revolting, rebellious heart, man. You know, an uncircumcised mind, verse 23. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. That's our people, man. Our people are gone. You see, our people are lost. I'm going to jump down to verse 25. Verse 25, your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you for among my people are found wicked wicked men they lay wait as he that set a, set a snares they set a trap they catch men as a, a cage is full of birds so are the, their houses full of deceit therefore they are are become great and and waxen fat they are waxen fat they shine yea they overpass the deeds of the wicked they judge not to care the cause of uh, the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the, of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit uh, for these things, saith Yahweh? Shall not my souls be avenged on such a nation as as this? So our people, man, have a very revolting and wicked heart, and have uh, taken on the ways of the uh, Gentiles, chiefly the so-called white man, and we have become worse than the so-called white man. You see. And we, and our people use oppression and, and, and deceit to make merchandise of, of one another, man. And the most I've seen is all these things. And he's going to judge our people for this, man. You know, he's going to judge, you know, harshly. 
You see? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Well, that was it. That was it on that. Now I want to say the point was made, you see, in order for us to truly please the Heavenly Father, we have to circumcise our, our minds, you know, and truly believe in him all the way, in his will and his way, and not uh, lean on to our own understanding because our own understanding has understanding has got us in the, the predicament that we're in now. You see, the only solution is pleasing the Heavenly Father under his will and his way. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders that rule well, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicking his word in sincerity also in truth. Shalom.